friends we're back Welcome again back. with another episode before we start do me a favor hit the like button share button and hit that bell leave your comments down below and subscribe to our channel for more content that we're going to bring to you guys i am i am so hot today right now dude i'm so hot i'm 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 so hot that I'm gonna start a World War Three. <laughs> Speaking of World War Three, guess what's gonna happen, guys? Guess what's gonna China happen? Gonna China, China, already threatened China. Taiwan with air force with their air force. Last week, 154 times they went into their airspace. 154 times. UK just sent out their uh, carrier to that region. So. Guess what, guys? World, war, world wars have always started with the small com countries, an invasion of a small country. So now Taiwan is on the line. And China basically gave the middle finger to this administration saying, dude, I'm going to do it anyways. You can't do crap. And U.S. will not, will not participate because zero backbone zero backbone this administration is the worst administration that's ever happened to this country and what's going to happen now is when china invades taiwan it's probably going to take about a week maybe two the weeks is not gonna be able to do well yeah right. uk us europe no one's going to touch it it's just going to happen they're going to take like over the crimea situation problem <clears throat> exactly it's just going to be crimea situation and that is when the start of the problem will start oh, what the hell did i just say this is where this the problem will start is uh is when china takes over taiwan and guess what now that's all the chip manufacturing is now under china's control so get ready for the price increases you can no longer buy that 80 80 inch big screen tv for six hundred dollars i got a seven inch <laughs> for seven inch for like 480 crazy from Walmart like a few months ago. I said, so, you don't get this now. Like, five something. I said, within a couple of days, within a couple of weeks was like $900, 950 or a thousand bucks. So Yeah, so stuck up on your um, TV. <laughs> but other than that, the other thing was the incident of the U.S. Uh, nuclear submarine in the um, uh, South China Sea area. I don't know exactly where it was, but apparently um, around 15... Um, U.S. Navy submarine um, soldiers were injured, so that's they said uh, there were no um, damage to the to the engine compartment, which is like a nuclear engine. Um, so that's as far as like an environmental thing is uh, safe. But the question is, what did they hit? They hit something. Definitely, it wasn't Titanic. I mean, their submarine. I mean, they Wait, where, where, were they under the water or were they above water? That's the um, question. I don't, they I don't... could be close to surface. <laughs> I don't know exactly what the situation was. They haven't disclosed that. But my guess is it could be like a um, Cause they, mine. They have mines, mines there. There's definitely, like there's definitely mines so placed if there. Had, if it has caused like significant damage for them to bring back, now, now actually taking the submarine to Guam, on his way to go on mm -hmm. and you had multiple injuries uh that's definitely like a significant like damage because they had to actually be on the surface yeah that means they can't be under the water anymore. yeah so that's obviously in a war situation that that would be easy target yeah they um, might they might have some uh some, some internal damage or like external mine. damage that's I probably i don't see like you know they hit anything else they didn't hit you know blue whale or something <laughs> 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 Just blue blue whale. whale uh look guys the 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 this is this is where where we have to be vigilant with um with with who we vote into office or who's stealing the election this administration is known for its tyranny going back for every single person that's serving that administration from top to bottom especially the top the former vice president, the current vice president, they have the worst track record in history. In history. Okay? The best part is, where is Kamala? Where the hell is she at? You know where she's at? She's in front of a camera talking about space with kid actors. They couldn't even get real kids in front of her. That's where she's at. Real actors. 
actors, the, the four children in front of her, four children, they were actors because they, got, they couldn't they got, get they got real kids in front of her. They got okay. Paid. They well, got paid. They were afraid that they would be uh, affordable. This like, is... Uh, when, with the MAGA could you something. imagine if Melania Trump or Mike Pence did anything, anything close to what these yeah, assholes but, are doing? But don't expect, like, consistency from, from the family. Don't, we, we I'm, I'm not. No, I'm not. But these people... What, what are the 81 million people? What are the 81 million voters? That they couldn't even find a few kids. <laughs> what are they? <laughs> what are the 81 million people? There's like 81, 81 million if you voted for this guy, for the if you voted for this guy, you voted for World War Three because it's gonna happen. It's your it's your problem. This is this is what you did. I didn't do it. He didn't do it. Many millions of people didn't do it, but you did. If you voted for this asshole, you voted for another war. You. This is exactly what you get. Because, be, push the limit, because, like. because what you did was you didn't like the tweets. Don't you miss a couple of mean tweets by now? <laughs> Don't you wish to have some mean tweets coming towards you? <laughs> you know, just to, just to, bashing you know. Bashing the media, fake news. Yeah, bashing the media, um, bashing the fake news. You don't see yeah, them. Yeah, but uh, with all seriousness, um, <laughs> this is, uh, so getting into the, like, a, a broader picture is, so you're going to have China, Russia, Iran, North Korea. That's going to be the main main um, axis of the East. And um, Don't forget Japan, man. Japan is if, also there. If, if, if India takes sides with the West, then you're going to have Pakistan most likely would side with China because they're close to China. So I don't necessarily think like you know, we are at the verge of, you know, global conflict, but definitely given the fact that how weak this administration is in general, it's just, you know, U.S. Um, it, it's just declined. I mean, um, it is mostly, to me, actually is more important that it's cultural de decline because that results in every other aspect of the society. So, um, yeah, I mean, that means, uh, as we discussed, there's gonna be more uh, ambition to take over Taiwan. Uh, most people, they don't even know, you know, if you follow history, uh, China was a republic until World War II. Um, after the Qing Dynasty, um, which collapsed after World War I, around World War I, that they had their uh, independence, so it became uh, Republic of China. And after that, uh, when the communist takeover uh, happened, in um, 1948, then became People's Republic of China, which is the communist state, uh, one party system. And then the opposition and the stuff, then they ran and pretty much they are in Taiwan. So Taiwan is all Chinese, actually, I think these Chinese people, it's always pretty much been part of China, is like Hong Kong. But um, now, the only way that they can um, stand or they even have the will to stand would be if the US and the West gets involved. And their president just mentioned that today or the other day that, uh, yes, we are going to fight, you know, Chinese aggression, but <coughs> we need support. Means if you guys don't support us, we, we are not going to be able to hold. I mean, it's just, you know, a small island. So they're not going to be able to, you know, hold out once they're, you know, get fully attacked by China. So that's going to be uh, the situation and as we discussed, this is just a gradual decline. Now, I'm hoping even if there is a decline, is it has to be gradual because if it's not gradual, then you're talking about implosion or just much more of a serious situation which can lead into internal domestic chaos and obviously leads to external conflicts. We don't want that, obviously. We don't want that. You know, everybody's just for their own sake and the sake of their family. And anybody who loves the country, they don't want that to happen. But unfortunately, when you have society that you are promoting hatred of the country, hatred of yourself, hatred of your people, hatred of your history, hatred of everything that is you and just belongs to you, every part of the country, and you have, um, um, through actually our enemies, have been pumped this poisonous ideology into our nation, 
without any kind of uh, repercussion, any kind of counter narrative through the education system and the fake media and all that, what do you expect it to be? Um, do you think like if it's going to be a world war now, you're going to have as many people willing to go and die for the country as was like in World War II? It's impossible. It just doesn't exist. And, uh, you know, is uh, if the population is demoralized, it would be like many other empires. You know, when the foreign army comes, they must say, oh, they might be better than better than what's going on here. It doesn't matter on our life. It would be like, you know, when the Taliban came, a lot of people were indifferent because the, of the corruption of Afghan government. They say it doesn't matter if it's this guy's or Taliban. Yeah. yeah, they might restrict our clothing, but at least we would have security. <clears throat> so uh, this is a situation going on, and it's going to be serious. But um, my only suggestion is everybody has to look uh, look out for themselves. Um, do Plan Bs, um, uh, prep. Make sure you get enough supply. Uh, make sure that you're in touch with a group of people that you trust. You know, family members, close friends. That in case of whatever happens, that you get backup plans. Make sure they got guns. Right. <laughs> Make sure they got guns. And if you don't, then you're late. You, you have to pay big price for that right now. Yep. So it's not cheap. Exactly. So, um, guys, uh, I'm. I'm. What I. What I'm gonna do is I'm. I'm gonna be switching my content from my channel to this. Uh, to this channel. So I'm gonna exclusively just work on this channel. Uh, I do have some. Uh, I, I. I do some. Uh, interviews with with different individuals. I also co-host with with another friend. Um, but do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, share this video with your friends, and hit that like button. Put your comments down below for more contents. Uh, love you guys. Yeah, take care, you guys. God bless.